name is Jeremy. My name is Jeremy Stanton. I'll be reading the part of man. Hi, I'm Caitlin Crowley, and I will be reading the part of Sam. Hi, I'm Eddie Wilfer, and I will be reading for the part of Daniel. This is unbelievable. The, the, the Mongols who settled down on the Persian-China border, they adapted to the local customs, but, but there was one tribe, that, that, the, the Changatai, that kept the traditional life of the steppe nomad. Maybe these Shavadai are their descendants. I mean, this camp could literally belong to Genghis Khan. It's, it's a living exhibit of a way of life that's been extinct for 900 years. Uh, please sit. Now we may talk. Because <clears throat> I still don't understand what, what happened out there. Among our people, it is death for a woman to show her face in public or to dress as a man. Among our people, it is death. The old ways and laws weigh heavily. It is well you saved Abu from the dogs. It gave me a way to prevent your death. Thank you for that. Soon, the old laws and the old ways will no longer serve us. Trade will one day replace war. This is our future. We have the strongest, fastest horses and camels, the finest wool, and we have medicine. Drugs of unheard power. Colonel, a, a lot of breakthrough in medicines are coming out of mountains and the jungles. We should really see what he's got. This is unbelievable. Uh, the Mongols who settled on the Persian-China border adapted to the local customs, but there was one tribe, one tribe, the, the <laughs> Chagatai that kept the traditional life of the steppe nomad. Maybe these Shandavai are their descendants. I mean, this camp, this camp <laughs> could literally belong to Genghis Khan. It's a living exhibit of the way, the life that's been extinct for over 900 years. Uh, please sit. <laughs> <laughs> now we may talk. Good, because I still don't understand what on earth happened out there. Among <laughs> our people, <laughs> it is death for a woman to show her face in public or to wear men's clothes. <laughs> Among our people, yes, the old laws weigh heavily. It is well you saved Abu from the dogs. <laughs> it gave me a way to prevent your death. Thank you for that. Yeah, soon the old laws and the old ways will no longer serve us. Trade will one day replace war. This is the future. We have the strongest fastest horses, and camels, and the finest wool, <laughs> and medicine. Drugs of unheard power. Colonel, a lot of breakthroughs and medicines are coming out of mountains and the jungles. We should really see what he's got. <laughs> First, please, my name is Henry Novos, and I'll be playing the character of Cat. I'm Brittany Soprobo, and I'll be playing the character of Patrick. Hey, girly! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, woman. How you doing? Smiling like a pig, actually. And yourself? There's a way to get a guy's attention. My mission in life. <coughs> Obviously, I stuck your fancy. So you, you see, it worked. The world makes sense again. Pick you up Friday then? All right, Friday. The night I take you to places you've never been before, I'm back. Like where? 7-Eleven on Bursign? Do you even know my name? I know Little a lot boy. more than that. Doubtful. Very doubtful. You're no bargain either, sweetheart. You hate me, don't you? I don't really think you warrant that strong of emotion. Then say you'll spend dollar night at the track with me. Why would I do that? Come on, the ponies, 
the flat beer, you with money in your eyes, me with my hand on your ass, you covered in my vomit. 7.30? <laughs> <laughs> And action. Hey, girlie. I mean, woman, how are you doing? Sweating like a pig, actually. And yourself? There's a way to get a guy's attention. My mission in life. Obviously, I've struck your fancy. So you see, it worked. The world makes sense again. Maybe on Friday then? All right, Friday. The night I'll take you to a place you've never been before, and back. Like where? The 7-Eleven on Bernstein? Do you even know my name, screwboy? I know a lot. More than that. Doubtful. Very doubtful. You're no bargain either, sweetheart. You don't hate me. I don't really think that you warrant that kind of a strong emotion. Then you pay spend a dollar night at the truck with me. And why would I do that? Come on. The ponies, the flat beer, the, you with money in your eyes, me with my hand on your ass. You covered in my vomit. 7.30. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Aaron Razor, and I'll be reading the part for George. Okay. Hi, my name is Skip Rocks, and I'll be reading for the part of Actually, George. I'm Jerry. You're Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Okay. All right. She can't kill me, right? Of course not. People break up all the time. Every day. It just didn't work out. I couldn't do it. I tried to love her. I wanted to love her. You tried. I looked at her face. I said, love her, love her. Did you tell her that you loved her? Well, I had no choice. She squeezed it out of me. She told me, I love you. All right, all right. I looked at her and I said, oh, really? Uh, boy, isn't that something? But you know, it always comes back to, I love you. You know, you can only hold out so long. You're a human being. I didn't even ask her out. She asked me. She called me. What could I say? No. I can't do that to her. You're too nice of a guy. I am too nice of a guy. She seduced me. We went to my apartment. I sat on the couch, she sat on her chair. I went to the bathroom, I came back, she was on the couch. What was I supposed to do? I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't do that. I would have insulted her. You're flesh and blood. I had nothing to do with any of this. I met her friends, I didn't want to. I tried not to. I knew it would just get me deeper and deeper. I feel like I'm in quicksand. I told you when I met her. My back's killing me. You gotta see my chiropractor. He's the best. Every guy's got a best. I'll make an appointment. We'll go together. For what? They don't do anything. Do I have to break up with her in person? Can I do it over the phone? I don't have any stomach for this. Just do it all in one motion, like a like a band-aid, right off. Can I just email her? <laughs> text her. It's 1995. Well, text yeah. people. That's not a thing. She can't kill me, right? No, oh, of course, course not. not. <laughs> people break up all the time. Every, Every day. day. It just didn't work out. What, what could I do? I tried to love her. I wanted to love her. I can't. You tried. I looked at her face. I said, love her. <laughs> love her. Oh, wait. Did you oh, tell you loved her? I had no choice. She squeezed it out of me. She said, I love you. At first I said, oh really? And isn't that something? But it always comes back. You have to say you love her. You can only hold out for so long. You're a human, human being. being. 
I didn't even ask her out. She asked me out. What was I supposed to say? No, I can't do that to her. <laughs> I am too nice a guy. She seduced me. I was at my apartment. She was on the couch. I was on the chair. I went to, I went to the bathroom. I came back. She was on the couch. I was on the couch. What could I do? I couldn't do any, nothing. I couldn't do that to her. I would have insulted her. Your flesh, your flesh and blood. blood. I had nothing to do with this. I met all our friends. I didn't want to do it. I tried not to. I knew it would get me just in deeper. I feel like I'm in quicksand. We told, told you this when you met her. My oh, back's killing me. You should see our chiropractor. chiropractor. He's the best. He is the best. Everyone has, a, every both have you have a bed of the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make you an appointment. We'll, we'll all go together. Yeah, we'll go together. <laughs> they, don't, they don't do anything. Do I have to break with up with her in person? Can I do it over the phone? No stomach for these things. You just you do, do it like a band-aid. Just rip it. One motion. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna email her. Don't email. This is 18, 1989. There's no email. It's true. How about text? That's not a thing. Do you? Uh, you got a cellular <laughs> phone. You are a rich man, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey,